Hey guys, I'm out doing a roof inspection today. This client had some wind damage. Some of the shingles blew off the roof. And they also, when I got up here, I could tell that they have some hail damage. And sometimes when we're discussing with our customers that it looks like there's hail damage, you know, the, the question that we get is, well, the roof's not leaking, so what does it really matter? Uh, and, and so the answer is hail damage doesn't usually result in a leak uh, immediately or, or even usually within six months. It, what it does is it damages the shingles to the point that it shortens the life of the roof. So it's damaging the longevity of that roof. And the way that it does that is your shingles are covered with granules. And those granules protect the shingles from the UV rays. The UV rays, if they can get access to the, uh, the asphalt that's underneath those granules, it'll eat away at the asphalt, ultimately crack and soak and, and uh, eat through to the point that it does eventually cause a leak earlier than the roof would have failed without the hail damage. So I did a test square on this roof. It's a 10 by 10 square. Usually an insurance company is gonna uh, approve a roof for replacement if there's about 10 hail strikes within that test square. Um, in this one, I counted 21 clearly identifiable hail strikes. I wanna point out one of those to you and explain kind of what I'm talking about. I've got it right here. You can see most of the roof is covered with these gray white granules protecting it, the asphalt from the sun. This, the hail struck, bruised it, and you can clearly see the asphalt beneath those granules. So that's where eventually the sun is gonna eat through that asphalt, it'll crack and lead to a, a roof failure. So with this roof, this is one that I'm gonna suggest that we discuss with the insurance company for a replacement. Anyway, if you have any questions about roof repairs, hail damage, anything related to roofing, call up Sol Vista.